Hey, Summer's Summer Invention Club, Inventors Club. So glad to be here another day. Today, today, I, yeah, we're practicing safe, safe social distance and wearing our mask, but um, I can't talk to you too well with that mask, but I wanna make sure you can hear what I say. And I, sometimes I talk a little fast, so I wanna slow it down so I'll make sure we get where we're supposed to go. I'm so excited to bring you another project today, but first, Remember, we have one of these nice mats on the, to put on our table, and um, I'm covering up my project, but this is the project today. You're gonna get a puzzle. It's gonna be in a bag. It's got a pr screen print on there of Javon Chandler. He's gonna be playing music with you one of these weeks, and he plays a saxophone, and he's really good. He just graduated from high school this year, and he's out, and he plays music like a pro. But what we're gonna do is open up our puzzle. We'll open it up out the bag and you know, save your bag because when, if you wanna take your puzzle apart, like this puzzle actually comes apart like this. So, you know, it can come apart and be put back together. So I'm gonna show you, this is the big one. You have one that's big like this, but I'm not gonna take it all the way apart because I wanna paint it today and you're gonna paint yours. You either get a big one like this that has less pieces or you get one that has many more pieces and this is many more pieces of puzzle so um i'm gonna paint this little one and save the big one now you get one puzzle in your bag so i'm just letting you know you'll get one of these two so i'm gonna put this one aside and i like mixed media and i wanna i think i'm gonna use yellow as a bright color to start going around the shape. Now, this paper is really cool for markers. And I'm gonna color yellow around it because this is a bright, bright, lovely day and bright, lovely instrument. So, um, when you put your color on here, I'm gonna start with going around like this with this nice yellow. And I know this kid, Jay, young man, Javon, Javon, likes, loves blue. He loves blue. So um, you can do a mixed media. Mixed media means using different things like marker or crayon or paint, you know, paint or color pencils. So, but I wanna do all of them. So I'm gonna start with this yellow, yellow going around him like this. And Damn, so cool, it's so cool to see how you can do this. Now he's a, if you see him in the videos, he's kind of light-skinned brown, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this brown on a napkin first. Stay here, brush, don't fall on the floor. This brown right here, I'm gonna try it. Now is this brown gonna work? This brown has an attitude, it's empty. Let me try this brown. Now that brown's a little bit, a little bit darker. Let me try it. So right now, I'm gonna use this like this, or well, the way you see it, the yellow goes around for a nice glow. This tan um, brown is a little bit darker, but I'm gonna use it to highlight his fingers. And I'm gonna show you that after I'm finished. So, and I'm gonna draw right over the blue so you can see the contour. Oh, wow, look at that. All kinds of browns came in today. That's what, I, I love stuff coming in the mail. How do you feel about getting these supplies every week? Man, I've never had so many supplies like this in my life. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna cover around the hand, the fingers, and make sure they stand out first. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you where I'm at. It's, now I lift it up, see, if you take the brown and go around the edge of the arm, it helps the arm stand out so when you paint it or whatever you do to it next, it's easy to follow. And if you go over the blue strong like this, it makes it really pop good. I mean, well, I mean, what I mean by pop, it makes it stand out and it makes it distinctive. It makes it clear and it makes it strong. And if Javon sees him, he's gonna feel like, wow, these kids drew my picture like that, that good? This is amazing. He was so excited to be part of this playing with you guys. So um, when I watched him play the music, boy, he gets into it. So I'm gonna use the brown to highlight his, his face and his arm. Now it's two faces. One face is on his shirt because he has his Instagram page and his social contacts. So he, people, 
people pay him to come play banquets, churches, weddings, and stuff like that. And so he's like a cool, popular person. So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to take blue and go around and around on the blue and do with blue. Because since he likes blue, he's got blue shirt and blue jeans. But what I like about this marker, if you use watercolor on the shirt, and I think the, the, the Javon in the middle, I'm gonna paint blue like the shirt and just darken it. But I'm gonna show you how to, what I, what I call a watercolor wash, the famous watercolor wash. Now, so I just, I just darkened around the blue so you can see it. Now, with watercolor wash, what I mean by that is, I got my fancy cup of water, da 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 da, and I got my brush. And you remember, if you put your, if I'm gonna use yellow paint, I would use yellow before I use blue because my water turned blue. You know that, right? The water turns the color you use. But I wanna make sure, let me see, I wanna make sure that if my blue is too blue, you, you won't see the letters over here. So you see, this is what I call a wash. It's a wet blue with a wash of color. So when I, you see how the wash of color is? It turns it like a tint, like it's a little, little translucent or transparent, that means you can see lightly through it and you can see the drawing, the drawing underneath. And I'm gonna make sure I go around the blue shirt. You see what I mean? It's a wash. And the words on there, you still can see, right? Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna go around here now and dip my brush into the blue some more. And what I'm gonna do is add it where the neck would be and make it a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Now, um, what I like about this blue is it makes me feel good and calm. The blue makes me feel good, I love blue. Blue is like a color that always makes me feel calm. I love blues, especially when you can run them like water, just like water. Now I'm gonna, so since his shirt is blue, his face in the shirt is gonna be blue. It's gonna be just a simple wash like this. And and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the arm, actually I'm gonna put it in the arm too, so you can see. Now see what I did with that wash? Tell me what you think. I can hear some of you saying, good, good job. Thank you for your confidence. Now, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of wash purple down here, this other purple with the blue. I'm gonna try it on my paper towel first. Well, it's not going anywhere because I don't have any water on it. I'm gonna put water on it. So his blue jeans, so I put a little bit of purple on the blue jeans like that, right? If I put a little more purple and some blue, I'm gonna test it first, on the blue jeans. The blue jeans are still kind of blue, but kind of purple blue. Let me, let me, get, let me get it going here so you can see what I'm talking about. You gave me a lot of reasons to stay here. I'm gonna paint just with my brush. This is a song by a lady named Tracy Chapman. She goes, give me one reason to stay here. Now I'll turn back around. Mm -hmm. Do you ever sing while you paint? You ever hum? I like to hum sometimes, especially when nobody's around. Yeah, see, see how that's like a purple blue? So you know how your blue jeans had that dark purple look or maybe it's purple? but we call it a cast of purple, like it's a tint or a shade. So, so what I'm gonna do now, since I've got watercolor marker, I'm gonna go to something else, a colored pencil, my color pencils. I'm gonna go in my supply box and I'm gonna, I don't wanna drop everything on the floor. You notice I've got the table mat right here on my table or wherever you work at, so I don't get paint if it spills on the table or the couch or the floor or the rug. And uh, let me see, I want to make, so he's playing music. So you think of music coming from a saxophone. It has this beginning, this slow beginning that eases up to a, a middle range sound or movement. So if you think of sound as movement, it can go like start soft and begin stronger. It gets stronger and it gets bigger and it gets loud. So if it's coming out of this horn, it's going loud and just moving up like this, squiggling up. So I'm gonna take this pencil and I'm gonna draw a line, squiggle up. And I, I just decided to pick, I picked the first color and it turns out to be a purple looking red. So let me show you what I did. 
like, what do you think? Yes, that's kind of how it starts from in here and it comes up here and it gets bigger. And so I'm gonna darken it up top and thicken it. And I'm turning the pencil on the side so it colors my puzzle really cool. And um, what am I saying? You ever talk inside your mind and hear things but you don't say it out loud? Yeah, I do that sometimes. Yeah, yes I do, I have words in my mind. I'm gonna grab this green looking color and bring it in. And I'm gonna put the green on there over the color pencil. So I have the, the green going in with the pencil. Now, let me see, what do I feel? I feel like his skin needs some color and I need to play the sax. I need to put saxophone colors in, saxophone colors. What color are saxophones? They're kind of yellow too, but it's kind of golden yellow. So I'm gonna look for a golden yellow pencil or maybe some orange and, or peach. Or what else do I see here? Orange, peach. So I got this peach color and a darker, a different yellow. And I'm gonna do the saxophone, another yellow. So it, it feels fiery, it feels exciting. And I'm gonna use color pencil on my saxophone. And I'm gonna take it up here to the lip. And I'm gonna I'm gonna rub some orange underneath and blend it like this. I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold it up and show it to you, see what you think. So if, if you if you think it's cool or not. Now I don't know if everybody have you ever painted a puzzle before, or drawn a puzzle? You can add your own designs in the background, like you can make birds come out the horn, you can, you know, have music, you can play a lot song for your grandma you can draw words let me see if i put words on here um i can have birds and i can i can go around this a little bit with a little brown so you can see how it looks right there and um, i'm gonna put a little bit of shadow in here and a little shine right there so it kind of goes like that now I'm going to take the marker for a skin tone and try what skin tone I like. So I have a choice. I actually have a choice. Yeah, this will work. So I take the marker and rub it across the skin. Yeah, the marker shows the puzzle shape somewhat. Looks like he's got alligator skin but he doesn't, he has. I'm gonna put a little bit over the hair and let me see. So right now it's brown and golden and I'm gonna try one more wash color. I think I, I need some red in here because red's a really glowing color. I'm gonna dip my water in the red and I'm gonna try it on pa paper towel first. Then I'm gonna, oh, that's not that red. Now here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna go around here. Get this red in here and put some more over here. Let it go over the orange. My, this red is kind of like not as strong as I like. I want the strong red. Okay, since that red is not that strong, I'm gonna. There you go, red. There, that's what I'm talking about. I have a little bit coming out of the horn. See, see where we're going? And um, let me see. What about purple? Some stronger purple. I'm putting some in the hair. I'm kind of getting going right here. And I'm gonna come right here. Then I'm gonna bring a little bit more blue back here by the collar and by the face and by the edge and under the jeans. And I'm gonna have a little, maybe, I don't like using that much black, but here I am today. I'm gonna to put a little bit of black in the air because his hair needs to stand out some more, maybe. The black's stubborn right now, but here it comes. Okay, uh, so there we go, there we are, and we're all done.